Hey guys, welcome back to my channel this week. Um, just a quick video this week and I am making a little bit of time to do a voiceover. Um, I wasn't quite sure if I wanted to show the process for this piece because in the end, um, I wasn't quite that pleased with it. I didn't turn out um, anything like I wanted it to. I really enjoyed inking the piece and um, I tried to do a little bit of um, color composition, is I think that's what you call it, where you kind of try to match your colors before you start painting. And I don't think I did a very good job. Um, so I, I really like the line work and the the inking portion of this piece, but like I said, I'm not really um, not really fond of how the the entire piece um, came out overall. It looks very um, my work is still amateurish, if that's even a word. Um, but I feel like some of the other pieces that I've done is a lot better than this one. And uh, I'm not saying it's, it's bad by any means. I just see a lot of places where it could have been improved. Um, I am using uh, my uh, Canson Mixed Media. I think it's Mixed Media. Nope, it's a Canson uh, watercolor um, book, actually. I've I'm, I'm got a few pages left in this one. I'm trying to get the book finished so I can start a new uh, a new journal or a sketchbook, whichever you'd mind to call it. And uh, so I'm. this is actually one of the prompts that I did for uh, Inktober. I'm, I'm not following the actual Inktober list. It's another one that I think Jane Davenport had put together. And uh, it was a raven. And the next prompt for the 3rd of October, I think, was a sugar skull. And uh, I decided to put them both together. Um, I really enjoyed, like I said, I really enjoyed painting it. Just I see a lot of places where I can uh, improve in this piece. Um, other than the paper, I am using my Grumbacher um, uh, watercolors in the tins that I bought while I was on holidays. And I still don't think I actually put up that haul video. So I have to get that done. It's a couple months overdue. And... Um, I don't think I put it up. How bad is that? Okay, this is what's been going on uh, in my life. For those of you who are watching this but don't watch my vlogs, I do have a vlog channel, and I try, I attempt to daily vlog. Sometimes it doesn't happen. My life is not always that interesting, but when I feel like there's something interesting to vlog about, I actually do. And uh, I usually get up at least three videos a week. Um, sometimes I actually do get seven videos up, so um, if you want to check that out, pop over there. Uh, but just recently, um, the reason why the videos on my channel have been quite sporadic lately is because um, three weeks ago well, let's start. Back in August, I left and went on vacation for a month and um, I spent two and a half, three weeks um, outside of uh, the province um, where I'm where I'm currently living in Manitoba. I went home to Newfoundland for a couple of weeks and then we spent a week in Winnipeg. Um, when I got back, we just kind of took it easy for a bit and um, then I, I, I tried to get back on a regular schedule and uh, just three weeks ago we found out that um, my, my fiance um, will not have um, his position after the end of this year where he's working currently so we decided Decided, um, we decided a long time ago that we wanted to move when this happened and it's happening now so we are in the process of renovating our house so we can put it up for sale and uh, sometime after Christmas sometime between um, January and March we're hoping sooner than later we will be um, packing everything up and heading back out to the east coast of Canada and that's where we're gonna be living and we're gonna try to buy a new home out there and get decent jobs and everything and I guess we should get decent jobs before we buy a new home but you know what I mean so there's a lot going on here so I just wanted to let everyone know that I'm not abandoning abandoning I can't speak tonight I'm not ignoring my art channel I'm, I'm doing my best to try to get videos up but that is what's happening so I've spent a lot of time um, doing the renovations myself um, other than um, a few things that I can't do and uh, it's just it's taking up a lot of my time and I have to work during the day as well so actually sitting down and doing some art's been a little bit a little bit uh, no, it's not happening as much as I, as I want to or as much as it used to, but hopefully, you know, after the next couple of weeks, that'll change. And uh, if you're interested in watching the, the move and the, the renovations and everything um, and, um, and the side things of the, the art pieces that I'm working on, you can definitely check out the vlog channel. We will be driving from Manitoba to Newfoundland, so that's going to be um, a seven to eight day trek um, halfway across the country that 
much I will be vlogging um, along the way. So if you're interested in checking that out, definitely go, uh, check out the link below to my vlog channel. Um, other than that, we're getting really close to the end of the video here, and uh, and and um, I'm I'm struggling here. I think trying to figure out what colors to be using to. Uh, I, I wanted to use the fine tech paints in the, in this piece as well, and I couldn't um, decide whether I wanted to use the gold or if I wanted to use the silver. And in the end, I decided to use the silver. But again, I, I really didn't. I really don't think that I did um, the best trying to pick the colors for this piece. So. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know what else to say for this, uh, for this, um, video. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it, let me know. If you, um, would have done something differently, let me know that as well. Um, or if you have any tips and tricks. I, I find this fine tech paints really hard to use in tiny places, like in very thin lines. It, it tends to, um, not work like watercolor. So if you have tips on how to use the fine tech paint, I would be glad to hear them be glad to hear them let me know if you've actually tried the fine tech paints even um what you think of them if you if you enjoy using them um and if you would recommend them to other people um give me give me your your thoughts and opinions on on the fine tech paints um video's coming to an end here so i'm gonna um in in this voiceover and again Bear with me. I know I've said that quite a bit in my in my videos, but I am not uh, not giving up on my channel. I am almost at 1,000 subscribers, and I want to thank each and every one of you guys that keep coming back and watching my videos every week, and to all the new people that are subscribing to my channel as well. It's greatly appreciated. And uh, yeah, that that's it for me today. And uh, I hope you guys uh, had a great week. I know this day is, uh, this video is two days late, and I'm trying my best to get them up on Fridays, but it's not happening. Uh, so again, bear with me on that too. Anyway, guys, uh, I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you guys had a great week. I hope you guys are all doing well, and I will see you in the next video. All right, bye for now.